Greetings once again, and again, a happy Thanksgiving to everybody in Mission Control. Uh, before we begin our f uh, farewell ceremony, um, in addition to the accolades that uh, can go around, we, uh, we have a couple of folks who, we, uh, who have been mentioned, but uh, not, with a, not with enough uh, thanks for everything that they've done throughout this doc mission to make it a success. The first of which is Kevin Window and his entire uh, Sarge team. They've done a wonderful job. The Sarge is up and it's healthy, and we've accomplished that mission objective. And uh, second is our transfer team, um, the ACO, lead ACO, Caroline Kostak, fantastic job. Our lead transfer czar, Jeremy Owen, great job to you. And uh, our mid-deck czar, Matt McDonald. And speaking of transfer, we have uh, one final, actually I should say two final items that need to be transferred. And for that, I'm going to pass you over to Heidi. Yes, we have one outstanding uh, resupply item from the mid-deck. And uh, I'd like to... Uh present uh, item number 904, and this will complete our transfer list, Sandy Magnus. <laughs> you are now officially delivered to Space Station. Thank you. And uh, in exchange on the swap list, we have item number 1003, Dr. Greg Shamatov, also known as Taz. And uh, there's only one. Thank goodness. <laughs> and now you have your name back. And uh, uh, we'd like to say to uh, Fergie and your crew, uh, thank you very much for this extreme home makeover. And uh, I think we succeeded as a team, uh, not just uh, us guys here up in space, but the, the entire team down on planet Earth across you know, 15 different nations in, in something really incredible. I mean, you, you, you totally fixed us up on the inside and on the outside, and the results speak for themselves. I think everybody is really ecstatic, and I'm really pl proud to have worked with you. So on behalf of the space station, I'd like to say thanks for coming. On behalf of myself, this is the first time I've seen a space shuttle up here, and I didn't know what to expect. And, boy, you guys set the bar high for the next crew because, boy, it was so much fun having you here and seeing you here. And uh, it, you guys were, were such perfect guests. You, you left the place cleaner than you found it, and we tried to make it pretty clean for your arrival, and it's even better now. And we're just so glad. And then you brought us Sandy. Sandy, welcome. We're really glad you're here. We've got a lot of work to do and uh, you're definitely the person for it. And you're replacing Greg. Boy, uh, no words can really describe Greg's, uh, Greg's missions. This is so outstanding. First, starting on Expedition 17, then he came to us on Expedition 18. And Greg, I'm really proud and really have, glad to have served with you. You've accomplished so much, uh, just, just the normal day-to-day -day work, plus all the science that you got done, and I'm really proud to have served with you. And uh, you're leaving on such a good high note. Again, words can't express uh, the thanks we, uh, we have for all of the, uh, all the folks who supported this doc mission, uh, both, uh, both in the White Ficker and over in Ficker 1. Uh, you know, we can't thank you enough. I, as far as, you know, my tally is, we've accomplished all the major mission objectives. And when I say we, I don't mean just the ten of us. I mean everybody in both uh, flight control rooms and all our supporting personnel as well. So, uh, you know, with that, I think that we'll, uh, we'll drag uh, Taz, and we'll also make sure that uh, one, uh, Dr. Don Pettit stays on the right side of the hatch when, uh, when we leave. I've been told to keep a good eye on him for, uh, for fear that he might sneak away from us. So with that, I think that we'll, uh, we'll bid a fine uh, farewell to this, uh, to this uh, Expedition 18. Good luck in the rest of their, uh, their stay up here. And uh, we wish uh, Sandy could come back with us, but we know that she's uh, answering to a higher calling right now. So with that, we'll, uh, we'll finally drag Taz with us. Uh, I just took a final look out the window in the Japanese module, and I just cannot believe that six months has gone by. Uh, it's, it feels like it's ending very much the way it began with the uh, spectacular shuttle flight and, uh, and the accomplishments of, of the shuttle crew that, that are really... Uh, Amazing. They've given us a makeover both inside and outside the space station, prepared us for a six-person crew in the future. And uh, it's been a real pleasure to see uh, this, this crew come up after being on board for six months, mostly with three people at a, you know, at a time. And all of a sudden, there's ten people up here, and uh, the work they've done is just amazing. It's, uh, it was great to see it. And uh, seeing the smile on their faces and their, and their wide eyes as they came into the station reminded me of what it was like when I first arrived here six months ago. And, you know, that amazement hasn't left. That amazement has stuck with me the whole time. You know, this is such a spectacular space station, and uh, I'm very proud to be leaving it. 
a better space station uh, than the one we found when we got here. We installed a new Japanese module. It's a spectacular new laboratory, and it, everything in there is working great. The Japanese people need to be very proud of their new spacecraft, and we've done a lot of work in the Columbus module as well, uh, a lot of science. It was also a very new module when I got here, and we've done a lot of great work in there. So congratulations to the whole, the whole team all around the world, all the control centers, 15 different countries that have worked to build the space station and make it what it is today. It's really a spectacular place. And as I leave it today, I feel both happy and sad, um, very sad to leave my crew because uh, my crewmates have been uh, just terrific. And uh, I know that I'm leaving this uh, space station in really the best possible hands with Mike as the commander. We've had a terrific time for the past uh, seven weeks now. And, uh, and I regret having to leave and not be here to, to see the end of Expedition 18, which I know is going to be just continue with great success uh, with Yuri and Sandy. I know that uh, this space station is, is in great hands. And, of course, I'm really happy because I'm really looking forward to seeing my family as I head through the hatch or maybe go the wrong direction and someone helps me find the hatch. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing my family. I just can't wait to get home and see my family. All my thoughts are there now. Seven members of the Endeavour crew now getting ready to move back to the shuttle and close hatches between the station and the shuttle. Heard there the members of the two different crews going over a few of the things that they were thankful for on this Thanksgiving, including on the station side, the help that the shuttle team is giving them, has given them over the past few days as they expanded the abilities inside of the space station and did some work on the outside as well and on the shuttle side, expressing their thanks to the teams on the ground who have helped them through the mission and trained them before the mission started. Seeing now these seven members of the Endeavour crew making their way through the pressurized mating adapter to the shuttle's mid-deck. The last one to leave will be Mission Specialist Greg Shamatov wrapping up his six-month stay at the space station as Flight Engineer 2, leaving behind Flight Engineer Sandy Magnus, who came up aboard Endeavour and will be the station's new Flight Engineer 2 until... STS-119 arrives with Japanese astronaut Koichi Wakata. <laughs> 